and the next topic that I like to show uh, is what we call static analysis. Uh, there are multiple tools uh, such as IDA, the Interactive Debugger for uh, Binary, or Jidra is a very recent tool. Uh, it's a completely free of use. Uh, it's developed by NSA. Uh, if you want uh, IDA alternative, uh, although a lot of hackers prefer IDA over Jidra, but Jidra is good enough for in our goal. Uh, if you want to the Jidra, it's a universal Java binary. In this case, Java program. In this case, if you, uh, you, you can run this particular program in any other platform. In, in my case, I'm running this one in my uh, Arch distributions. If you want, you can go outside and execute in, uh, in Mac OS. And you can see pretty much similar user interfaces as well. And if you click uh, this dragon button, uh, dry draw button, so basically you can see it's a central location for controlling tool and you know, control or managing projects. And in this case, I just deleted all the active project. Uh, so it's nothing there. And this is a code browser. Uh, if you basically, in this case, no binary is imported in here. And if you uh, import certain file, say that. So I just download the correct me binary for the demonstration. And whenever you open, you're gonna uh, Jidra asking what type, what format that you are interested in to parse, and click the analyze. Then the Jidra in the backend analyze the sections, each section of the binary, create the control flow graph so that they can analyze for disassembly as well, decompilation as well. And these are mostly tedious information you can get outside as well. Uh, actual name, uh, modification that you can you can get those information from file itself or some of the ELF feather. And uh, yeah. there are two uh, important windows here in the left side and right side. Uh, this is, a, as you can see here, this is a normal uh, di uh, disassemble information. But we're now pointing to the ELF feather so that you can see ELF. Uh, if you want to move the other part of the code, um, there are a few user created functions here, in this case main. Uh, most of the time you want to check starting from main. Uh, if you click this main symbols in, in this symbol tree, or you can type G, and so that you can go to the main. So G is a basic shortcut for code 2, so that you can go to any place. Uh, not, not limited to the symbol like this, you can put it a hexa uh, address value so that you can jump anywhere you want. Uh, in this case, we now singing the code from for main. In this case, you can see recognize pretty easily. In this case, put this uh, invoke first uh, with this crank me welcome messages, and this program is getting asking for password, and then they accept the password to the buffer. Uh, what's interesting here is that Jidra recognizes the local variable pretty well. In this case. They consider the buffer size is 16, uh, but interestingly, the uh, scanf will accept the uh, C string more than the buffer size. Uh, but again, this is not the current focus of the uh, focus of uh, the, or this is not the way we bypass uh, the first crack me challenges. But we're gonna leverage this particular vulnerability for the later purpose, uh, later uh, buffer overflow as well. The important logic that you can capture immediately is that there's a string compare function, uh, the libc function is invoked with the buffer that you put it. In this case, whether it's the same or not uh, with this particular string, uh, when that, uh, one, one thing about string compare is that it actually return uh, zero for two, uh, two strings that are completely matched. In those cases, whenever you put the completely uh, or exactly same uh, string to the buffer, it will return zero, so that it consider it will print out the password okay. And this print key function, as you can imagine, uh, read the proc flag and just dump the proc flag for you as well. Uh, and as part of this interesting string, actually write this uh, phrase to the proc flag as well, so that we can keep track of 
uh, how you proceed inside the program. In this case, ProFlag will contain this particular string as part of the payload uh, as well. And if you want, you can actually navigate what's inside in the printf. But as you can see from here, it's pretty easily recognized what's going on. It opened up a flag and all crazy stuff and read and dump uh, outside. You can you can see your f, f close and f open uh, and etc. Uh, this particular thing is not well disassembled, but it happens all the time because it's, it's really hard to deal with this uh, information um, in, in purely in binary. Flaps IDA recognizes so much, much quicker or cleaner way, but I think most of the time this is good enough. You can see uh, there's F group put and there's a simple while loop until the length is completely full. You're gonna keep reading and put it the uh, no bytes at the end of the F read and when you are done, uh, they're gonna close uh, and whenever you read some of the buffer side, a buffer and they're gonna print out this one as well. These are pretty easy to recognize once you have uh, this decompilation uh, tool. So our goal is that for BOM2 library, the lab2 uh, library, uh, binary, we are not gonna provide the corresponding symbol unfortunately. So basically, we strip all the necessary sim or all, all the symbols inside the BOM lab, so that um, you, it's okay for you to just rely on GDB at this point. Uh, but it's extremely hard. I guess many of you guys guess the features of each function purely from the function name, which is provided as part of the debugging symbol. But in this case, in when you are dealing with uh, BOM. BAM uh, binary for lab2, uh, not only we strip the entire binary, we actually set some of the interesting tricks there so that when you're just navigating in uh, dry drive, uh, we kind of trick you in many different ways. When you're navigating GDB, we also trick you as well. So be extra cautious when you're dealing with BAM lab, uh, particularly for starting from lab2, uh, because you shouldn't just believe what you see from the binary. You should uh, understand the behavior of each instruction by yourself. Uh, otherwise, you will be easily tricked uh, by our binary as well. Uh, that, that's about Jidra and PhoneDBG. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions, I think this is a good time uh, to ask. Otherwise, I'd like to explain the shortcode.